Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is it. This is the top 10 comics for 2020. I thought I'd get it out for you early. These are my favorites. Whether you like it or not, leave your comments, like the video, subscribe, make sure to turn on your notifications. I love comics and I love doing these yearly. So let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is my top 10 comics for 2020. Now, usually there'll always be something that I forget or, you know, people comment, what about this? What about that? That's totally cool. Go for it in the comments. Um, I got 10 of my favorites that I think have legs and that were, you know, pretty big. When we get down to the last five, you know, you'll they're the biggest, <laughs> but, um, you know, this year was the year of writers, you know, James Tinian and, um, Donnie Cates, and they really did a number on 2020. Of course it helped that there was a lot of errors and different things like that, but they were within these runs of these writers that really took over 2020 and created some, you know, heat on certain books, and you all know which books they are. But we'll get to them. Um, if you guys have watched this channel, hopefully you got these books at decent prices. Usually I broke most of the news on a lot of these before anyone knew, so you could try to pre-order, grab one, or something like that. And some others were just like heaters later, or they died out and they got heat, or they might heat up later so i've kind of added them to this list so before we get to the 10 and it's really in no particular order kind of um i wanted to give honorable mention to these two books venom 25 and batman adventures continues number two now in regard to venom number 25 inside you saw the brief of the the centerfold the brief appearance of, um, you know, virus and null and all this stuff going on, which was kind of a, a theme this year, kind of these, uh, gate, you know, wrap around or gatefold covers that eventually would be second prints, but would heat up the next coming book. So people would start buying the next book and hoping that was in there. And then the next book, and it's really brilliant. But I wanted to give an honorable mention for Venom 25, of course, because of that. And Batman Adventures uh, continues number two, which the first appearance of Sonny, which is the protege of uh, Deathstroke. And, um, you know, maybe there's some heat there. Uh, maybe not. It still maintains a, a pretty good, decent value, not too expensive. But um, it'd be worth picking up and you can still get it for cheap just in case. So without further ado... Let's hit up the top 10 list. Make sure that you guys, uh, if you're new to the channel and or if you just a pure sicko that's always been here, make sure to, you know, hit that sub button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any cool stuff because that's what this channel is about, helping you guys save money. So let's go. Let's review. I know this is a little bit early for 2020, but and I know there's probably some new DC stuff that might hit in the next month here of December. But I just wanted to get this done and get it out there for you guys. So let's go to number 10. So at number 10, I put two books, Venom number 26 and the free comic book day Spider-Man. Why? Because, well, first of all, it's the first full appearance of virus. But the controversy is within these two books because free comic book day Spider-Man was supposed to be released first. And that actually had the first appearance of virus inside. So because of COVID, it got pushed to release after Venom 26 came out, which in turn changed labels at CGC and stuff like that, where it says, you know, due to COVID, this book was released later. Originally, it's supposed to be first appearance. It's just a really interesting thing. And I think when we look back at it, 
it's not really about virus the character because if you've read venom he keeps getting get his ass whipped constantly you never really see him that much he's constantly getting stopped over and over which is kind of a flaw with that character and honestly donny cates is writing but besides that this is a cool comic in regard to it will have history it, you know because of covid so i put these two books the battling first appearance um, as 10th place this year on 2020 now let's move on to ninth place okay now this is very interesting thor six okay um my secret source informed me of the interior being a major spoiler i dropped that it seems like this book was killed on purpose probably my fault um, it could have heaten up a lot more and I think that this book will blow up um, because of what's inside um, what's inside is let's see if I can show you a picture here I don't know which one this is let's do this remove that and let's add this this is the interior okay of course this is the second printing like i was saying they do the big reveal and then they do it as a second printing which also heats up but the fact that there is a thor hammer or or mirror mirror with the infinity gems stones inside and thanos is commanding a dead army and he's got the black glove a lot of spec speculation was that he was thane but it's been confirmed it is thanos so uh, this is the future of Thor, the big war. Uh, I could see this being a year event, maybe six months. Who knows? Uh, but it's really exciting, and you can still get these for really cheap. I, I, this is on my top ten. I don't care, and it could move up over time. So hopefully you guys are on that. Let's move on to number eight. Okay, at number eight this year is The Last Ronin. This book, I believe, kept getting pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed. And there was so much heat on it that, if I recall correctly, they didn't even order enough to fulfill orders on this book. I kind of blame that on COVID um, just because people had a long time to order it, as if I recall. I'm not exactly 100% sure. But there's so much heat on this book because there's only one turtle left and everyone wanted to find out who that last turtle was and even now number two isn't even out yet i don't think and um maybe it is this week although but it's super hot and everyone loves turtles and this story is going to be really good so i'm really excited to see where this book goes um the book was super hot and it still is going well. And yeah, I'm throwing it on the list at number eight for 2020. Okay. At number seven is Thor number five. Okay. First appearance of Black Winter. You know what's so ridiculous is I don't even know what the hell Black Winter is, to be honest with you. Is it this little black snowflake? Is it Thor all venomized black? I don't know. But here's the thing again with donny cates i'm not trying to tear into you donny if for any reason you see this i love you you are saving marvel you know your stories are good thor venom i can't wait to read in the next one but the thing is for instance venom 30 what the hell happened like you know thor 5 he the the thing disappears okay but black winter is hot and right now you did a tweet recently Oh, there's plans for Black Winter. So this book's heating up again. But I'm foresee I am seeing a trend here where you do this build up and then it's nothing. So hopefully you don't do that with the Infinity Hammer and everything else. But Black Winter is a big book and it in number Thor number five. And it goes on my list at number seven. The possibilities are kind of endless if it's done correctly so let's move on to number six 
Okay, at number six, we got Strange Academy number one. Now, there is a lot of possibility with this book. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of X-Men number one. It reminds me of a whole new team of characters. These are more time-friendly characters. Um, and it just it has that feel to me like X-Men number one. Now, what I'm saying is this is like a super long-term hold. And it's doing well. I got really lucky one day. I was like, you know what? Let me go to Midtown and buy some of these. And I bought them for like $3 each or so, $6 each or something like that. And two days later, they dropped. Got, it just exploded. So I got lucky on these. But I think Strange Academy might be a very good long-term hold. Um, regardless, it's on that list as one of the best of 2020. I know we haven't seen a huge... Uh, number drop yet like oh my god well, what about this what about that be patient we'll get there but for me this is number six and i think there's there's some uh, potential here for sure let's move on to number five okay batman 92 now let me let me give you a little breakdown here first cover appearance of punchline batman 92 the art germ the jimenez and even the regular cover had her on it batman 92 art germ cover was so heavily ordered and then that's i think that's right around when covid really got bad so it kept getting pushed and more and more and more and more people ordered it now the one in 25 of course is sought after and worth some money but then all of a sudden they drop this one per store black and white and I don't have it. I'm very pissed off about it, but I think this book deserves to be on the list at number five because of what it, excuse me, how much it costs and it's a one per store. So that's a pretty big deal. I'm going to try to get my hands on this before this video hits. <laughs> because usually when I do videos like this, you guys go buy it all and I don't have a chance. I need to get one. Um, and this one's coming in at number five because Tinian and Batman have been really big all year long. And I got to say, Punchline is the queen this year of first appearances for sure, without a doubt. So let's move on to number four okay this is when everything starts to get really interested interesting and people are like well no that should be number two or this should be number one or whatever so all four of these books right here are the big dogs okay so batman 89 okay this has the cameo appearance of punchline in there and of course what's even crazier is there were a couple if you want to call misprints or errors that have like the black ink on there. So this book is decently priced, but that error is the big dog. Um, so that's why it's in this realm. Um, I'm not sure how much those errors go for now, but I'm sure a slab nine, eight would go pretty well. I'm not certain. I think they're labeling them different, like a different color label, which I think is ridiculous. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I didn't get one, and maybe you did, and congratulations. I do have the regular CGC 98, but I really wanted one of those errors because that was, or ink misprinting because that's a big deal. And, of course, punchline is pure fire. Some people might not think so. Some people might think DC's over. And most likely, some of you are right, some of you are wrong. I don't I don't think Punchline's going anywhere. I think people really like that character. And, you know, it's just, I mean, honestly, <laughs> there's more Punchline to come. So, let's move on to number three. Oh, man. At number three, this is one of my favorite books. And, of course, one of my favorite covers. Dark Knight's Death Metal, Legends of the Dark Knights, number one. This is the one in 25 
Andrews variant. Okay. The title is such a pain in the ass to type. So thank you so much, DC. There's a lot of long story to this book. And you know what? I'm going to tell it to you guys. So a couple things. First of all, one night I was talking to justice for comics, shot out justice for comics. Good guy. Um, he um, and I were talking about this book. Did you see this book? Yeah, I saw this book and all this. And so we both knew it was coming out. Okay. So the secret, though, is there's a couple here. You know what? I'm about full disclosure. Okay. So Justice and I both knew about this cover and it was going to be hot. Now, I had sent information to Key Collector about it. Hey, check that Robin King's on the cover. And I had done my rev previews of the, the book. You know how I do my advanced previews. Say, look, I think this is the first full appearance of Robin King because it says origin in there. So then I got my secret source helped me out. And we broke the news on this book. Now, <laughs> fuck it. So Key Collector put me up on Key Collector, right? I was up for a couple hours. It was like my debut as my pick of the week. Gotham City Comics made him pull that shit down. I do not have any possibility, honestly, of ever getting on Key Collector again because of the store that works with Key Collector. There you go, where I used to work. So um, that was my debut as you know, dropping knowledge and dropping heat and fire secrets and stuff like that. And Justice for Comics doesn't get any love either for his cover. So there are some people in the community, in the comic book community on YouTube, that don't have a chance in hell. At least in regard to the secret level of bullshit. Okay? But if you want good information, you need to watch my channel. Because I break news all the time. And this was one of those books. And I love this book. And I think Robin King is super fire. And that's all I got to say about that. So the secret is unveiled before the end of 2020. Of the, ga the game. The fucking game. Okay. So there you go. Now you know the true story. And peace out to Justice for Comics. Okay. Let's move on to number two. Okay, this is very difficult for me to put at number two. It's very difficult. Um, so I'm going to, number one and two, okay, are even to me. Okay, they're equal. Hell Arisen, number three, the first full appearance of Punchline. This book was very under-ordered. Low print. Um, people weren't into the hell arisen i guess you're the villain thing they weren't following it they weren't ordering it and then boom first full appearance of punchline was in this book so it went batman 89 and then hell arisen and people were like oh number 90 or 91 or 92 batman's gonna be our first prince nope hell arisen this book has long-term legs it's already valued very well I stocked up when I could. I even told you guys when it was like at 150 or a little bit over, go buy them now. And a lot of these books have increased uh, this one in particular as well. But this is, this is probably the biggest key of the year. Um, now, number one, I'm still up in the air on, but we're going to get to that. But this is probably one of my favorite books of the year and um yeah punchline baby like i said it's tinning and kate's here all day long so let's move on to number one you guys try to guess it and uh we'll see right now if you were right here it is venom 27 the error now it is a double cover but it isn't of the same cover the internal cover was the 1 in 100 Stegman variant, black and white. The outside was the John Boyer Myers 
exclusive variant. What had happened was, I think, 100%, that, you know, there's a lot of people that say differently, but instead of shipping out the 1 in 100s to all the stores, they shipped out that. And inside was the dub, the, the actual 1 in 100. So this book blew up, okay? I got lucky to get one. I'm really happy about it. But there's more to this story. Besides the fact that it's another error book, it's the first full appearance of Codex. Now, a lot of people have a hard time with Codex. They go, oh, it's Dylan. Um, you know, the Codex is going to die. You know, there's no legs for Codex. Dude, I fully disagree with you. This is one of those black winner scenarios. Another point I'm going to make about Donny Cates. Thor 5, black winner. Gone. Right? Gone. He's supposed to be a huge character. Now he's going to come back. Dude, they build up Codex the whole time. They get to Venom 30, and then Dylan touches him, and he Codex is put off to the side. Like, oh, he's healing or whatever. Like, he's not going to come back. Either he doesn't come back or whatever, but Dylan will become Codex, whether good or bad. Dylan's going to be that character, and Dylan's a huge character. So this book long term i think is going to be by gigantic and and the heat on it because of the error and the situation it was uh this book fluctuates and where when it came out it was like 1500 now it's at like 500 or you know raw or whatever you know thousand slabbed or whatever this book will go up and i think there's a huge future for codex in general so if there was a variant to have of the first full appearance of codex that's it um i really hope codex really does well um but yeah so you know some people may argue with me so you know most of the time i think i'm right so i hope i'm right in this case too and i think venom 27 in general will heat up later too because it is dylan and he's got some powers and king and black's coming out in a couple days I filmed this a couple days early, but um, who knows what's going to happen there. Null is the sickness, bro. So, you know, Codex has those powers. So I think that was a really great top 10 list for 2020. I think it's been a great year. Like I always say, and I've said it for years. Well, I've only been on YouTube for two and a half years, but every year there's about five big books. So I gave you a list of 10, but honestly, probably five of them are the big ones that will last time. You know, um, a lot of these keys may or may not, but I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I liked and enjoyed putting it together for you. Hit that sub button, hit that like button and check out any of these videos next and stay sick.